2022 marked the 50th anniversary of the passing of the Education Amendments of 1972. That civil rights legislation included 37 words that have come to be known as Title IX. No person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. And with that, Title IX became the driving force for creating equal footing for females in the world of competitive sports. Its lasting impacts have been told and recounted nationwide, and it continues to champion the cause for female student athletes. One story that also needs to be told is that of women's athletics at Madison College. The winds of change began to blow as the decade of the 1960s came to a close, and the MATC Athletic Department hired Joanne Walker. The recent University of Wisconsin-Madison graduate and Milwaukee native not only led the cheer squad, but also coordinated the recreation department and helped coach men's bowling and tennis. The 1971-1972 school year saw Walker guide the Trojans women bowling team the first non-cheer-based female athletics team on campus. Led by WTCC champion Diane Tim, MATC finished fifth in a nine-team field of Wisconsin-based teams. Also making headlines that year was tennis player Becky Reggett, who played as the number two singles player and part of the number one doubles team on the Trojans men's tennis team. The native of Middleton won five of her six matches against the men. And then came Title IX, and Doug Redson said, maybe you could, you know, coach. And I said, Doug, I have never had a coaching class in my life. I have never played five-player basketball, because it wasn't that when I when I did play a little basketball, volleyball is a completely different, it went from nine people on a team down to six. And so all of the things that I seemingly got involved in, <laughs> um, I had never had any um, opportunity to play and I didn't never had any coaching. One thing that surprises me, I, I look at my, my past years, I had one female coach grow, I mean, through all my sports that I played, one female coach, and now there are so many female, I mean, there's female coaches coaching male sports. That, that's something that I am happy that, you know, that has changed. Um, and it, it kind of shocked me when I thought back, like, I, don't, I only had one female coach ever. The fall after Title IX passed into law, MATC introduced women's volleyball, and before the 1970s were over, the Trojans were being represented by women's teams in cross country, basketball, softball, and tennis. As the summer of 1972 faded farther into the rearview mirror, Madison College remained at the forefront of women's athletics which was growing by leaps and bounds at all levels. Yeah, and so when I came here, well, even in high school, I had women volleyball coaches, but then when I came here, a woman basketball coach, you were my coach, and, and I think that's really important because those are role models that those youth athletes, those women athletes need to look up to, and, and we need them to be involved. So seeing that um, come full circle or seeing more in those um, roles is great to see. They hired other women coaches and that and more girls had played high school sports and I thought that was motivation in itself to come either to school for sports and or their education. In the 50 years since Title IX, thousands of female student athletes have donned a Trojans or Wolfpack jersey. 
They have accounted for 45 conference championships, 23 WJCAA state titles, 18 region banners, and three NJCAA national championships. Additional honors include 48 female NJCAA All-Americans, 23 Madison College Hall of Famers, and hundreds more receiving postseason awards for their play and their academics. I am so pleased to see that they get an opportunity to develop skills, but more than that, they get trained. It's not like they just go out and play anymore like we did at first. They have nice uniforms now, so that's a source of pride to them. Good coaches and good training and good food, you know. It's so much improved over the first few years. The work is not done. Efforts continue far and wide in women's athletics to fight for equal footing. And the new generation of female athletes are being urged to grab the torch and run with it. You know, I think it's always important as, as women in the field that we continue advocating for women, that we continue making sure the women in athletics and whatever sport it may be, um, that truly has a passion, that truly has a voice, um, and truly feel that they belong and, and, and really just continue advocating, supporting, encouraging, and, and inspiring one another. Madison College is proud to celebrate the impacts of Title IX throughout the sports world, and we vow to continue the forward movement for equality and opportunity of women in athletics. You've come a long way, baby. <laughs> the game is nothing like it was when I started, you're playing in a, a good program now.